I was a child of a woman who was bipolar, and our family was very, very troubled. On the other hand, my mother had the strength and wherewithal and the resources to get help for our family by the time I was 12. And there are four children. All of us have been successful adults. But we've all had to do time in therapy and time in figuring out how to interact in a world that is better than the world we grew up in. When you're 12 and all you have is your family and all you have is no end in sight to what you're living, how do you get hope? I think when you're going through a really low time as a powerless person, a teenager, what you need most to hear is that it will get better. When I'm in a very difficult part of my life, the resource that I've found to turn to because I had to find something to turn to because I did, could not find a good counselor at the time was something called Cognitive Behavior Therapy. There's an excellent book out on it called The Happiness Handbook by David Burns. What this basically will help anybody learn about is just how your mind works and basically some, some thought patterns that we all tend to have. And it just gives you some tools to get you started while you're trying to find professional help if that's the route you end up wanting to go or it may be enough to get you where you want to go. Just have faith that even though you don't know who they are, there are people out there who are pulling for you and hoping that you make it and will be devastated if you don't.